Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be digging into my crepe paper again. Still trying to get a little bit more used up because, again, so much. Right here I am going to pull out some other bits as well. You can see I had some simple stories, some Schmel crepe paper. This one right here is going to be my background. I like this paper a lot and I really like it as a background. It turned out really, really nice. Now I am going to use that simple stories paper and I am going to use this piece right here. This is actually, you know what? I don't think I end up using that one. Actually, I do not. Mm -mm. I did try to work that one in and it it doesn't it doesn't go now this simple stories paper right here I'm gonna rip that up and put that over on the right and left hand side this piece right here was that Chamel piece it on the back side was circles so it was just a scrap I am leaving the branding strip on it and I do that with another paper I use on this one as well in the on the back side um, it has a branding strip that I left on it this right here is a 6x12 uh, paper pad by Maggie Holmes. I was sent that from that cruise that I ended up not being able to go on. Right here I'm pulling out some more scraps. That wood bit right there is the one I was talking about leaving the branding strip on. And I do. It's kind of like a mint color and it has like florals and leaves on it. All right, the photo that I'm scrapbooking, guys, this is a sonogram photo that was from July 5th. Marissa and BJ went to the doctors and Marissa had a sonogram. And on this particular visit, when they did her sonogram, Riley weighed five pounds. Get this, Marissa still had eight weeks to go. <laughs> and she already weighed five pounds. This is a um, uh, sonogram photo of Riley's little foot. Okay, you saw right there I put a tab up at the top. Anyways, Marissa's still pregnant. Um, she did have another sonogram and they think she's like six, six and a half pounds now, but Riley still does have four more weeks to go and they're thinking that she's going to be nine and a half pounds if Marissa goes to term. Now I saw them today at lunch and oh my word, that poor girl. <laughs> Her tummy is just, that baby is just poking right on out there. <laughs> cute. It's really cute. All right, guys, so basically right here is going to be how I do my layers. I am cutting this down a little bit. I'm going to stamp the date on that here in a minute. Or maybe not in a minute not sure I do take another portion of that and put it over on the left hand side of the layout I'm gonna go ahead and commit to those pieces so today is July 28th this video is not gonna go up until August 4th which I think Think is next Saturday and today is a Saturday as well two days ago my baby boy turned 25 can you even believe it I cannot it's like holy my word that's what we are doing today is and we took him out for his birthday because he worked his birthday was on Thursday and he worked nights and obviously I work days so I wasn't able to uh, take him for a meal so that's what we did this afternoon. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and put a cluster up there at the top right. Now you can see that sketch, which I haven't mentioned yet. It is a sketch by Laura Whitaker, again. And this one is from August of, um, August 15th, 2016. And on this one, there's like some twine elements, which I really liked those. And also some other bits that kind of reminded me of picture frames. I'm not sure. I did not end up using the twine elements on here or the ink smishing splattery bits on here that um, looks like the sketch has, you know, called for. But I still have the general placement right there on toward the left hand side and then that little element up at the top right. It's kind of generally the the idea. Now on this paper I really like, <clears throat> excuse me, 
I really like how there are vertical stripes for like, what is that, maybe two inches of the paper and then it goes to like a chevron stripe that meet, meets in the middle. This paper is so cool and it's so cool as a background. You know where you're going to put your top, if you're going to have an embellishment cluster at the top, you know where you're going to put it because it's right there at the seam where that seam meets. Now I did pull out some Maggie Home stickers and up there at the top I put XO and then right there on the right hand side of that photo I put Sweet and this Sweet is just going to serve as my title. I did pull out some Webster's Pages little tile alphas and I put those directly onto the photo and I just spelled out foot. Sorry I had a, a frog in my throat. It's like I had frog soup for dinner or something. <laughs> Anyway, over there on the left hand side of the photo, I also pulled out another little sticker. It was kind of like a arrow sticker, kind of. It says remember, and I tucked a little gold leaf underneath that. Here I pull out some flowers. These are also Maggie Holmes flowers, and I am going to put that one in the top right and also that one over to the left hand side of the photo just to have a little bit more interest and a little bit more layers. I do like to have me some layers. You can see those leaves up there at the top. Go ahead and say bye now because they are not staying there. Bye leaves. Bye. You're going to go away. I am going to go ahead and layer these up. This is a piece of the same pattern paper that I stamped the date on. A piece of that wood grain paper which I just punched out kind of like a label shape. And then also a piece of the pink paper that's behind my photo that's cut into a banner shape. I just kind of layer all three of those papers up and stick it right up there at the top. And the leaves are going by now. Bye. Look at my hair. Oh my god, it's so bad. I don't know if any of you guys have had this problem. The older I get, the more fuzzy my hair is. Now, I don't have really curly hair. I mean, I, like I might have some waves maybe in some spots the underneath of my hair is a lot more curly than the top of my hair but the older I get the more fuzzy my hair gets and I think it's because the fuzzy bits that are colored I think those are gray hairs that are just dyed <laughs> I think that's why they're so fuzzy I'm not really sure it's like oh my word gotta get a hot iron out for that all right I did put some splatters some Heidi swap Heidi Swap Color Shine Splatters down in gold. And I also take these little tiny epoxy dots out that were from Felicity Jane. These go a long way. I feel like I've had these for a couple of months. And did you see where the they're settled now and the new kits are going to be coming out? Whoop whoop. So I can't wait to see what um, she puts in those. So after I put those epoxy dots down, I don't put anything else on this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.